<sighs> we didn't get the rain we were supposed to the other day. Had a light drizzle. So I've got to fill my troughs. But you can see the tomatoes and everything are starting to get some get some size to them. I get these water specks off my glasses. I can see not real well, but just trying to fill the cross up a little bit so it keeps the plant watered. The nice thing about this watering system, I have to water all the all the plants every day. And there's a drought. And we've had quite a drought the past couple of weeks. You know when your trough's full because it starts leaking out the out the sides. Tomatoes are starting to get a lot larger now. Should get some tomatoes to eat in probably another week or two. Nice thing about this, it takes like five minutes to water your garden. I'm just tapping off the trash. I did plant a few more cucumbers. We picked some up at the garden store. They were 50 cents a pack. But the feet don't get wet. They start to overflow. He's talking to me. I'm the film guy. Girl. There it goes. That's okay. I have bare I have bare feet. Looks like there's a bug. Is that a bug? We do not have any bugs. Is that a bug right there? I think so. I don't know. It looks like maybe it's part of the plant. On the tomato? Yeah, that is the beauty of this system. There are no bugs. You might get one once in a while. Is that a bug? That's a that there? Yeah. That's a blossom. Oh, okay. It looks dark. Yeah, same as this one here. Oh, okay. Gotcha. No, there was no bugs. The broccoli's kind of small this year. How's the taste? That's broccoli. Raw broccoli. And what's up with this guy? Yeah, that one kind of looks like it's going to seed. I haven't got flowers on it yet, but... Well, we did not plant this garden until late because of the snow, too, because we had snow. Well, usually we plant on uh, Mother's Day, but we didn't get it in until Memorial Day this, this year. So this is the cauliflower? Mm-hmm. It's got some nice head start. Onions. Every time Clay comes out, he has to have his onion snack. Yeah, my feet got wet from that one. <laughs> but this is pretty much what he does. Comes out here five minutes, if that, maybe. Already more than half done, man. I just wanted to make sure those new uh, cucumbers got a little water, because I just put them in the soil. Morning. Peppers. These are the uh, mini bells. Uh, that he got from the grocery store and play out of them. Well, I saved the seeds from the mini bells from the store. Is that a bug bite? It might be a bug bite. But we don't have very much. You don't see the bugs all over them, though. Right, we don't have to deal with any of that. See, he's ahead of me over there watering. So now the difference, you know, these were the icing buckets we got for free. Yes, some of these. But as they get older, they get a little brittle. So if you're new, you can get free buckets by going to bakeries and asking for their old icing buckets. These are all the nice jalapenos. These are the fooled you jalapenos where there's no heat. You can see there's a jalapeno over here already started. Okay, let me see if I can get it in here. 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. Right I'm trying to... Wait, I don't think I got them. Yeah, you got it. I see it in the video. Okay. Sorry, guys. After I hurt my arm, I'm really nervous about walking on something in the yard. We met a guy today. What did he say? He took a spin on a... Went on a corner, corner 100 miles an hour and broke his leg or something. Our car guy... We had to change the oil this morning in Clay's car, our van. Whoop, over the water hose. I'm trying to make sure the root system is in a little water. I think I'm going to make you build one of these for my indoor plants. I want one of these for my rose garden. <laughs> these want, are going up them poles pretty good. I'm going to fill my life with buckets. <laughs> And the birds actually drink out of these troughs and stuff too, which is and nice. The bees. And the bees, yeah, which is nice. So you're helping the wildlife get a drink. So there you guys go. That's how easy it is to water. Just super fast, super easy. Everybody's happy. You're touching about two or three minutes. These uh, salary are doing great. Won't be long and I'm going to be able to put the branching. And he'll show you how he blanches them too. You'll like that. See, they're, they're getting some size to yeah, them. Yeah, so pull that aside so I can get a shot and show everybody that. See that? Isn't that cool? Doing really good. We don't edit our videos. They'll get taller and bushier. We don't edit. We don't monetize. We don't do any of this stuff. Got a lot of little jalapeno peppers over here too. Let's see these babies. Right in here. Already started. The cherry tomatoes are doing really good over here. Soon I won't be able to keep them out of the cherry tomatoes. I love the cherry tomatoes. They'll be eating them off. They're one of my snack goods. And fried green tomatoes. Oh my goodness, I love those. But not with cherry tomatoes. They're too tiny. Although I could make cherry fried green tomatoes poppers. Well, we did the... Took the olive oil and the cherry tomatoes and with the spaghetti in that and some basil and it made a good meal too yeah look at all the blossoms coming coming in we'll have beans within a couple of weeks if not sooner they're just going crazy down here as far as being loaded I guess I won't have to weed them they're covering up them buckets pretty good our beans and petunias in the front died. <laughs> well, they're, they they're still right in direct they're, sunlight. Yeah, too. they're struggling. It's mainly because... If they'd have been in the shade, they would have worked great. Well, mainly because my hand, my, I broke my wrist because I just didn't water them every day. I confess. Because <laughs> they need a lot of water in that much sun. With that little soil. These are the cubes. Yeah, they look good. So which are the ones you just planted? These little ones down here. Oh, okay. Let me see the babies. Oh, they're so cute. Pay 50 cents a piece for the pack. The little babies. We're already started here with her. Oh, the babies. Wow, these pale opinions are really huge. Look at this one. Oops, sorry guys. The one's down here where my finger is. Let me see where he is. Oh, is that, yeah. go down oh yeah, they look good. Now these um, fooled you jalapenos will have no heat, but they'll also turn red when they're fully ripened. So you can either, either eat them green or wait till they turn red. Either or, they both all taste good. We're going to make uh, the jalapeno poppers out of them. And when we get ready to do that, I'll show you how we got to do that. I think our garden last year at this time was a lot bigger. But I think it was because we got to plant two weeks earlier. Well, we didn't plant 
um, broccoli and cauliflower either. But usually our garden is bigger than everybody's because we start before every, everyone because yeah, we the usually buckets. start Mother's Day and it's usually the we tomatoes almost started. In there. They're not really as thick and tall as they as they normally really are. They will be by fall. Yeah, usually I think we, it almost seemed like we were a month behind. But you see these jalapenos um, compared to where I'm standing, they're already you know chest high. Oh yeah, they're a good they're a good size. So it's, I just and love it. And the mini it. bells are doing well too, and I didn't think they were going to at first. Because we planted them from the seeds in the greenhouse. And it does look really neat. When we had this on the front porch, people would stop all the time. And but ask it, us about it. And right? ask us. But we just decided to move it back here. It's, it can be on the front porch. But it gets, it gets shade in the morning, shade in the evening, and full sun during the day. Yeah, so this is a better spot. So you have to look for your spots. That's the beauty of the bucket system, because you can just pick it up yeah, and move this, it every year. Yeah, sun and it was killing the plants. I could move into another location. Yeah, because you could the buckets you can move them every year, and you don't have to water them, and it's not a big deal at all. Just you know, but you see how nice this looks, isn't it pretty? Just love it, it's so pretty. But this is the way to go, no bugs. And I'm I'm not messing with it every. Move. No, because he's not. I'm not weeding it. I'm not. Uh, I I did one weeding last week, and you can see it's still. Still doing well. I mess with my house plants yeah. that are in pots more than this. I better water that raspberry back here. Is there a raspberry back here? Yeah, it's a uh, no. Oh, okay. Let's walk around here, guys. We have this to mow. Here, think, guys. I'll water it, but this one here is still doing good. We have some things we're going to do. These are thornless. We yeah. got them at... Uh, Tractor supply. Yeah. They didn't have only three of them, and we've already lost two, so. We've got to get that last one in the ground somewhere where we can utilize it, probably along the fence area. Do you want to walk over and look at anything else right now, or? I think uh, we just about finished our going in. Getting yeah, it's getting dark. It's late today. Okay, guys, so like subscribe and we just joined up for that new social media site it's called um parlor with the e p a r l e r look under popo backyard farm if you want to sign up there and uh we're on instagram popo backyard farm facebook uh popo backyard farm official Stuff like that. So we'd love to have you join us on social media anywhere you're at, guys. So we're on Twitter at R47R. I'm trying to think of all the places. I try to be everywhere online. In well, I said Instagram. So, t oh, TikTok. Uh, Popo Backyard Farm. So there you go, guys. If you want to chat with us other places... We are out there. So, anyway, like, subscribe, like I said before. Here's our uh, horseradish that we need to water. Well, I watered it the other day. It started coming <laughs> well, they're in buckets because our other horseradish <laughs> is growing right up over there in front of the greenhouse. Then we, we dug it up and it just keeps growing and growing and growing. So, anyway, you guys. Um, Remember, big or small, you too can be a backyard farm. The moon's out, so I guess it's time to go in. God bless.